Hey guys, so this is the Redmi 5A. The code name is Riva and it has a lock count. Okay, so the <coughs> Xiaomi has locked its account because it forgot the password after it's reset the pawn and it's still in lock status. So it means that <coughs> we cannot press the original ROM because it will lock the ROM and we cannot custom the ROM okay so in this tutorial I will show you <coughs> how to use uh, or how to bypass the unlock bootloader for this one okay so all the files and the instruction I will provide in my blog so please check the description box okay let's get started and check it out Okay, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Tom Bob. This time we have a uh, Redmi 5A with the code name is uh, Riva. It has a lock. Uh, the Mikon has locked the pawn and is still in lock condition, so we cannot flash the ROM without by bypassing it. Okay. So, <clears throat> in this tutorial, I will show you how to bypass unlock put order using the on official one. Okay, uh, for your for disclaimer, you should do this for pawn that not stolen. Okay, the user of the pawn has shown me that it is it is his pawn and it's uh, it, uh his has all the equipment that included with this pawn. Okay, this thing you need to do is uh remove the back case okay you can find it in under the under the tutorial with the keyword such as how to uh <coughs> remove back case from redmi 5a okay after that turn off the pawn by unplugging the power source okay because we cannot turn it off Plug it. <coughs> we need to test point the pawn. Okay. Test point the pawn, plug in USB cable, and then blast the bypass file. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. Now let's start test point. Test point is means that we must connect the two dots on the pawn using a sharp uh, aluminium or cable and then uh, plug in the USB cable so it will get into the download mode okay I will show you the test point is uh, okay here we go uh, sorry <coughs> this is the test point for the Riva can see here connect the two uh, spots using a pin set or whatever okay then plug in the USB cable okay let's try it Uh, sometime for the first attempt you will not succeed so maybe <laughs> you should try several times okay I will skip this video <laughs> to make it faster okay okay now we are already succeed doing the test point now the pawn are in the download mode okay 
I will show you. Uh, where is it? Okay, this is device manager and this is the port. Um, <clears throat> uh, when upon when uh, welcome upon connect to the download mode, it will show you this one. The welcome has USB key loader. Uh, 9008 it is in a uh, com communication port 189 okay so this is the steps okay first thing we have connect our phone into the download mode and then we need to go to the folder where you have the mi flash okay this is my mi flash so right click <coughs> open like file location and then from here create a new folder Okay. Yes. Give it a, a temporary name. Okay. The name is TMP. Okay. And then <clears throat> on the files, by files, files, and extract all the files into the folder. After we have extract all the bypass file, you can see several files right there. Okay, the program, the WRP, program MMC, and etc. Then we have to some recovery file for the Oreo and the nugget. And make sure that <coughs> you use the one that have the same firmware in your phone. Okay my case i have a nugget firmware so i'll use this one and rename it to the recovery.emg okay if you use oreo firmware you should rename this file into the recovery.emg okay so go back here find a blank spot hit shift and right click okay select open terminal or powershell and then let's run the command okay i have already have the command right here it's using the uh the port 189 okay you can check it in the device manager you can see here i have welcome kitty loader 1008 comma one eight nine. Okay. So change this value into your own port. Okay. So let's copy this command and paste it in here. Okay. You can see we have successfully flash the first command. Okay. And let's run the second command. This is for facing the custom recovery. Okay. Enter. Done. Okay, info overall blah blah blah. It's already done. And then back to the pond. Okay. Unplug the cable. The USB cable and plug again the power source. And now let's try to turn on the phone and goes to the custom recovery directly. Okay, because this is a bypass, you cannot flash the custom recovery from the Facebook. And you must directly go to the custom room by pressing the volume up or button. And after it turn on, uh, release the power button hold for three seconds and then release the volume up okay let's try it nice now we are in the custom recovery okay and for the next step we need to format the data so go to the wipe menu format data 
type yes hit enter okay then hit the home button and we need to go to the custom recovery again but because we cannot reboot directly to the recovery we must turn, turn off the pawn and it goes to the custom recovery again with the manual ways okay Okay, let's continue. Uh, <clears throat> now we want to copy some files. Okay, let's change the screen. Uh, first, I want to copy these two files the Appender version 4 and the Appender version 4 rack. Okay, let's paste it in the folder. Uh, sorry in the internet storage okay and then we need to copy the custom recovery uh, the custom rom sorry okay for this tutorial i will use the nusantara 3 111 and then forget to <coughs> Uh, copy the gaps. Okay, this is Android 11. So we're going to use the M64 and Android 11. Okay, let's try the new gaps. And then, if you want to have root access, don't forget to copy the images. Okay. Okay, let's use again. And for the next step, we need to <coughs> copy the appender test rack. Okay. Go to the install menu. Select the appender test rack. Okay, this one. Swipe it. And after that, we need to go to the recovery again. So it means that <coughs> we have to turn off the phone again and it goes to the custom recovery by the minor ways. This uh, takes some time, about one minute, I think. Okay, <clears throat> still progressing. Don't be panic. You should wait until it's finished. Okay, now it's finished. Let's turn off again the pawn. Reboot, power off, and press the volume up and power menu again. Okay, next steps is flash the custom ROM. Go to the install again, select the custom ROM. We're using the Nusantara.
Okay, it's almost done. Just be patient. Now it's flashing the vendor files. It's done. And now let's continue flash the gaps and manage get home button. Select install, select gaps. We're using the indie gaps at more zip. Uh, and then select the manage at more zip and select the appender. Okay, this is this the appender, not the appender dot not the appender dash rack okay we'll wait and if you don't like to have root access you can always keep flashing the images Now it's done. <coughs> uh, it's installing the appender.zip. Okay. For this, you just need to reboot to the system. Okay. It reboot system. and it will load the center os okay just for your information that uh, <coughs> i will not cover the detail review about the custom rom because i have another video about how to install the android 11 and 12 on redmi 5a and 4a it's unify rom it means that you can use the ROM for both device. Okay. Uh, for your information, the Unify ROM is called Rifo. Okay, it means the Rifa and uh, Rolex. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now we are in the home screen. Now we are using the Sandro S. Okay, custom ROM for the let me 5k okay i will not cover the review you can check my other video okay that's all guys this is a tutorial on how to unlock your redmi 5a using the unofficial uh unlock bootloader okay or bypass the unlock bootloader and also i've show you uh install the custom rom for this one okay i hope <coughs> this video help you if you like it please give it a thumb and i also have a lot of video about custom rom and routing or lots of fun especially xiaomi samsung and realme okay please check my other video if you subscribe i will very appreciate it it makes me excited to, to make a new video okay thank you guys have a nice day stay healthy stay home and wassalamualaikum